In order to add or subtract two rational expressions, each expression must have the exact same denominator, which is the case here. When you have two fractions with the exact same denominator and you need to subtract them, you simply take the first numerator and subtract off the second numerator. Okay, so you do the operations to the numerators. In this case, we need to subtract off the entire quantity of x plus 1. When you want to subtract off an entire quantity, you need to use parentheses. And we have our same denominator of 5x plus 4. Next, we want to clean up the top. We have minus and then a set of parentheses. Whenever we have that, we know that we want to distribute the negative into the parentheses. Doing that, we have minus x and minus 1. Next, we want to combine the like terms across the entire numerator. 2x minus the like term of x is equal to x. 4 minus the like term of 1 is equal to 3. This resulting fraction cannot be simplified because there's no common factor among the top and the bottom, so this is the value of the original algebraic expression. Let's do another one. In this case, the two denominators are different, so we need to find a least common denominator before we subtract. Because of the x plus 2 in the first denominator, we know that x plus 2 is one of the factors in our least common denominator. And it's raised to the first power because the x plus 2 is raised to the first power in this denominator. Next, we see that x plus 3 also needs to be accounted for. So x plus 3 is also a factor of our least common denominator, and it's raised to the first power because it's raised to the first power here. Now we've accounted for both denominators in our least common denominator. Okay, so everything is already accounted for, and we're done. The next thing to do is to rewrite both of, both of these expressions so that, they, so that we have the least common denominator of x plus 2 times x plus 3. If we look here at the first one, 6 divided by x plus 2, we want that denominator to be x plus 2 times x plus 3. We have the x plus 2, but what we don't have is the times x plus 3. So we want to put it there. Now, of course, we can't just put it in the bottom and leave it there. We, what we do to the bottom, we also have to do to the top. So we have the original 6, and then we also multiply it by x plus 3. Now, this first fraction has the desired least common denominator, so we move on to the next one. We have the x plus 3, but we want that to be multiplied by x plus 2. So we multiply it on the top and the bottom. Now in each of these two fractions, we have the exact same denominator, so we're ready to subtract. Don't forget the parentheses. And now we have to clean up the numerator. We'll start by distributing the 6, so we get 6x plus 18 
and now we need to distribute the minus sign. We get minus x minus 2 and still all over the same denominator. Next step is to clean up the numerator by combining the like terms. 6x minus x is equal to 5x. Plus 18 minus 2 is equal to 16. This fraction has no common factor among the top or the bottom, so we're done. It's simplified, and we're done. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, once again we see that we have two denominators that are different, so we need to find the least common denominator. We're not ready to find the least common denominator until both denominators are factored as much as possible. This x plus 4 is already factored, but this x squared plus 4x is not. We see that there's a greatest common factor of an x, so we need to take that out. Okay, now that both denominators are factored completely, we're ready to find the LCD. Because of this first factor of an x, we know that there's a factor of an x in the least common denominator. Okay, so now we've accounted for that x. There's still something else that needs to be accounted for in our least common denominator, and it's this x plus 4 that appears as a factor of both denominators. Many people are tempted to put it to the second power here because it appears twice. However, remember that when you're finding the least common denominator, the power that you use is equal to the power, the highest power that appears in any one term. In this case, the highest power is 1. In this case, the power is 1 as well. So the highest power that appears among the x plus 4 factors is 1, so that means that x plus 4 is raised to the first power in our LCD. Now we're ready to rewrite both of these fractions to ensure that they have the same common denominator. In the first case of the 15x divided by x times x plus 4, it's already there, so we're done with that piece. For the second one, however, we're missing a component, and that component is the factor of an x. So we need to multiply the top and the bottom by that missing factor. So we have 3 times x in the top, and we put an x in the bottom as well. So it's x times x plus 4. Now both fractions have the exact same denominator, so we're ready to add. So we add their tops, their numerators. And we keep the same denominator. Now we need to clean it up by combining these two like terms. We have 15x plus 3x, that gives us an 18x. Now we need to look at our result and see if it's simplified. There's a factor of an x on the top, and there's also a factor of an x on the bottom, and that means that these two can cancel. The result is 18 divided by x plus 4, and that is as simple as you can get.